Hello Calculus students. In this problem we're going to find the instantaneous rate of change of this function here um, at this given point um, 3. Okay, or there's parameter 3. Alright, so recall that the instantaneous rate of change, which I'm going to abbreviate just ROC here, um, is given by this limit. H is going to go to 0 and um, we are actually here, we're calculating, remember, we're calculating the average value of the function um, over the interval a to a plus h, um, and then we're going to let that small parameter go to zero. Um, all right, so um, in order to do that, now remember a is 3, we need to calculate f of 3 plus h, so we do that here, f of 3 plus h, and I just plugged a 3 plus h into the function. Wherever you see an x, you put a 3 plus h. And that, of course, simplifies. 3 minus 1 is 2. That simplifies to 1 over 2 plus h. And if we plug in a 3, we get 1 over 3 minus 1, and that reduces to 1 half. Okay, so we're going to take this f of 3 plus h, which is now 1 over 2 plus h, and we're going to put it into this part of the numerator. And similarly, this f of 3, which would be here, we're going to put a 1 half in its place. All right, here we go. So now you see that f of a plus h, which was f of 3 plus h, which got simplified to 1 over 2 plus h, is now gone over here in the numerator. And similarly, 1 half, which was f of 3, goes here. Okay, and then we're going to proceed as we did with a um, another limit problem that we had solved in the past. Um, I'll walk you through it, so if you missed that video, um, you'll just see it again. Um, in this case, we need to find a common denominator because we have a fraction on the top here. And the common denominator, the least common denominator, is 2 times the quantity 2 plus h. Um, then, since we're dividing by h, um, we're going to uh, uh, write this as multiplying by the reciprocal. So here we go. Now, you see that here. Um, dividing by h is the same as multiplying by 1 over h. Dividing by h is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. And um, here we have the common denominator, 2 times quantity 2 plus h. Um, since we introduced a 2 here, we have to introduce it at the top. And then um, we, have a, we introduce a 2 plus h here for the common de least common denominator, 2 times quantity 2 plus h. And we have to introduce it into the numerator here. Um, don't cancel these out at this step, um, otherwise you can undo all the work you did in finding the least common denominator. All right, in the next step, leave the common denominator alone. Let the 1 over h come down, bring down your limit symbol, and um, 1 times 2 is 2. The minus sign gets attached to this term, and here we have a 2 plus h, because a 1 times 2 plus h is simply 2 plus h. Now watch what we're going to do with this uh, minus sign. It gets distributed to both the 2 and the h. It's very important that you distribute it to both terms, including the second one. Now these 2's are going to cancel out. And that's going to leave us with the minus h. That minus sign is important. And the 1 over h comes along for the ride, so that's the least common denominator in the limit symbol. Next, we're going to just simply cancel out those h's. And uh, in other words, we're taking h divided by h, and we're getting 1. Now notice what you just did. By canceling out those h's, you've eliminated the indeterminate form. That is, recall, if you let h go to 0, this h in the numerator would give you 0 in the numerator. This h in the denominator would give you 0 in the denominator. So remember, you would have gotten 0 over 0 if you'd have let h be 0 anywhere previous to this step. Even in this step, if you'd have let h be 0, you'd have been 1 half minus 1 half, which is 0 over 0. So it wasn't until you got to this point that you got rid of the 0 over 0 business. All right, so great. Now that you no longer have a, um, a limit that's in indeterminate form, you can now evaluate it by letting h go to 0. So we let this 0 go for here, h. h is now 0. And you can just simplify now. Minus 1 over 2, 2 times 2 is minus 1 over 4. And so your final result is minus 1 fourth. So the instantaneous rate of change of this function, f of x, which is equal to 1 over x minus 1, at a equals 3, is just simply minus 1 fourth. All right, good luck.